Hi and welcome to another We Get You There session with Northstar. In this video we're going to be showing you how to build a simple size rocks 4D model. The brains behind it is Osmond and the voice is Rafa. The motivation for this video is to, once you have created a size rocks 4D model, this model can be used for example for feasibility studies or just for seismic modeling itself. This is an overview of the full extension of the workflow which we're going to be covering in different videos in YouTube. And the first part is the one highlighted in red. What you need is your size rocks model with reservoir properties, your rock physics model, and then we're going to be showing you how to predict your elastic properties from your reservoir properties and displaying this in our viewer. The result is a size rocks 4D model ready for seismic modeling. Let's have a look on how it works. Here you have size rocks and we are displaying a model, the, the water saturation. And we can see here under below the properties that we are missing properties like VP, VS, bulk. In order to create those, the first step of the workflow is to assign rock physics model to some of those, to, to those surfaces. The way to do this is by mouse button to in your model, go to edit. With the rocks tab activated, you're going to select your variants or your time steps, all your surfaces. And we're going to select, for example, the surfaces that we want to apply in a specific rock physics model from 1 to 9. Edit selected. Assign a rock physics model. I'm going to use the send one, for example, and hit OK. And for simplicity, for all the other surfaces I'm going to assign a secondary rock physics model so edit selected the one called send2 hit ok again now we can close this tab and we're going to make the conversion so you go to mouse button tree in your model and compute derived properties elastic properties using rocks very important is to keep the volumes correct so we see on the, on the properties that we have a gas saturation property, a water saturation property, a sand saturation property. So for the fluids, whenever we don't have a gas saturation plus water saturation adding one, we're going to say that we want to complete this as oil saturation. And for the solids, we're going to say that this is going to be shale. Some rock physics models, they are dependent of temperature and pressure, for example. Therefore, the application is flexible enough to give you those options. It's not our case here, we can hit OK. A window will pop up saying how many converted points has happened. And in some points of our model, we are missing some parameters and that's fine, we can hit OK. And now we see that we have new properties being created, book, VP, VS. And we can already notice that on the top of the reservoir and on the bottle, some of those properties are missing. And in order to continue our workflow, we need to give assign values to it. How are we going to do that? We go to Norner, mouse button tree, edit, goes to the, go to the property tabs, select all our variants or time steps. And we know the surface one, the one in top here is missing, so we select surface one. We're looking into VP right now. Let's select VP as our property and select the two lines which are missing values by holding the control button go to edit selected and we're going to assign three kilometers per second here to all the nodes and we hit ok immediately the application is going to show the result in our model and once you did this to the one to the surface on the bottom and also to vp and vs you can move to the next step. So we have a model here which this has been done already. Let's de-highlight this one. And we can see that the following model has properties assigned to all the layers. And now we want to create new properties. We go to Norna and compute derived properties, other derived properties. This window will pop up. And now we are interested, for example, on the VP, res, uh, VP VS ratio and also on the P impedance. We hit OK. That's fine. We want to create this to all the variances. 
And now we have two new properties here, for example, VPVS and P impedance. And if we expand the variant, we can see, we can check the variances between 97 and 2001. And remember that we can easily subtract them. So if you go to depth, use base as variant, and now we go to P impedance, mouse button tree, and display monitor minus base. We see only the difference. Very nice also is the possibility of show the difference as percentage. And now let's move this scale bar here and we see that it varies, how it varies in the reservoir. That's what we wanted to show you in this first video. And please stay tuned on the channel and for more questions, send them to sales at northstar.com. Goodbye.